Notion Maps is insane. You can now literally see your Notion items on a live map. And this kind of changes everything because this update isn't just a visual gimmick. It transforms how you plan trips, track data, or even build entire systems. Most people who use Notion databases mainly use the list view, but now it's about locations, geography, and real world context. So in this video, I'll show you what Notion Maps look like, we'll make one from scratch, how to integrate it with Notion Forms, which is great by the way for client CRMs, and then I'll go through 10 use cases that you can play around with. Subscribe for Notion Tutorials, let's dive in. So this here is what the interactive map looks like. So if you've ever used Google My Maps, it's kind of like that. So you have these pins here, as you can see like that, which you can interact with. So this map is completely interactive. It's absolutely awesome. But these here are actual pages in Notion. So I can even click on these and then open up the page. So obviously I could have other properties as well, which I'll get to. So these pins here are coming from this here. So this here is the list view. So as you can see, there's this place property here, and that is how it is picking up these addresses. And I'll show you how to build something like this in the next section. But before we get to that, I want to show you one powerful feature. So here in the list view, as you can see, we have filters, we have sorting, and we have groups. Now in this map view here, we do lose a few of them. As you can see, we can't group in here, and we don't have this sort icon. But we do have filters, and I'll show you something incredible. What I'll do is duplicate this map view here, and we'll just say vegan, for example. What I could do is go through these here and add a select here. And uh, I don't know for these, so I'm just going to randomly drag and drop. I'll say a few here are vegan, like that, and I'll call this property here vegan. Again, I don't know these cafes, if they're vegan or not. This is just an example. So if I click on the vegan tab now, what I can do is scroll in here and click on filter and filter it by the vegan and say where vegan is checked in. And as you can see, two of those got removed. So we're using filters in our map view here. These two here got hidden because they are not labeled as vegan. As you can imagine with filters and other properties, we can build really incredible stuff. By the way, if you're new to building a Notion and you find this stuff overwhelming, I do have an all-in-one Notion planner called Headquarters. It's got over 3,500 users and a five-star rating, and it's built around the best productivity methods. It's the perfect place to add your tasks, projects, life buckets, notes, resources, time tracking, journaling, and so much more. There's a link in the description to the template if you're interested. All right, let's talk about making one from scratch. If you're new to Notion, what you can do is forward slash and write D-A-T-A. This here brings up all the different types of databases. Now there are a lot of databases in here, as you can see. And most people, including me, use this table view here most of the time. What we'll do here is click on table view and click here on new empty data source. So for this to be effective, we're going to need two main properties. The first one here is the name. So you can either call this name or location. Then the next property here for this to actually work with a map view has to be this place icon. You cannot just select the text here and write the location here. That will not work. It specifically has to be the place property for this to work because this is where the map view will pick up the address from. It can't pick it up from another property. So let's just do an example of best places to go in Sydney. So we have Opera House and Manly Beach. So now that we have this very long list here, what I can do is click on the plus icon here to add a view. And here we can click on map and I'll just call this map. Very creative. So here we have the table view and we have the map view. And here we can see these two here. And of course I can click here to open up this page called the Opera House page. So that is how to build this from scratch. Now I want to show you how to integrate this with forms. So if you haven't used Notion forms before, they are incredibly powerful. So let's say you are creating a client questionnaire, for example, or even a client sign up form, actually. So you can have your questions here. But another thing you can do is click here on plus and select the place property. Now, this place property isn't like the normal text again. This here works the same as this place property. And I'll show you how powerful this can be. If we click here on share form, and I'll change this to anyone on the web with the link, when you're getting a client to fill out this form, once they add their location here and submit, what you could do on this form here is instead of seeing their form as just a list, instead you could add a view here and see it as a map. So now you would have a CRM as an actual map where you could see all of your clients on an interactive map. And that's how you could use maps with the Notion Forms feature. Here are some ideas that you could make with Notion Maps, a client CRM, an overseas travel planner, a road trip planner, a filming locations database, a restaurant collector, or if you have a specific diet, then you can make that collector even more niche and specific. 
a real estate tracker, a place to collect your date ideas, a market tracker where you can add dates and reminders as well to remind you the next time that market's going to be. There are so many use cases for Notion Maps. Let me know in the comments what you'll be making. By the way, if you want an all-in-one Notion template for productivity, then check out Headquarters. Click here to see the full tour.